Hey guys, just Sally here. <laughs> so I just finished filming my first TNT video and I remembered that I got asked just a while ago that I should make a video showing you guys my crafts collection and everything I use and I actually have two bedrooms. I have one that's my normal bedroom and the other one that's my crafts room. So I'm going to give you a little tour of my crafts room. So I hope you like that. Let's go. Into my crafts room. It's quite dark in here. Those are my clothes. Focus a bit more. Alright, so I have two desks. I have like a corner desk here. This one is full of teddy bears and a lot of my craft supplies. And this one's got craft supplies, but it's also where I do most of my work. As you can see, this tablecloth is disgusting. <laughs> it's covered in paint and nail polish and everything. So these, I love these containers so much. Um, you can get like tackle boxes like this as well. But I started off with one and I've ended up with five. Um, I have another one too for a little one there for sewing. But I think these are just so helpful with storing cobble charms. Uh, this little one here is double sided and it is for all my rhinestones for when I make rhinestone cases. And I'll show you the main one. I have to do everything one handed here because I'm holding the camera. Alright. This one's my main one. It's my big one. It's kind of empty at the moment though. I'm starting to run out. But yes, I have a lot of stuff. I had my bows up here. Um, some pumpkins, bears, rainbows. I love these. Ooh. I think these are really handy. Oop, get a better view. Should I do this all with one hand? Oop. Nope, not working. There we go. Alright, so these are little like chopped up fruits and that. And I think these make great little additions to cases. I think for... I got quite a lot there and there. That whole bunch I think cost me like $3. These are super cheap and they're just cute. Got little strawberries and apples and when I first got them I actually didn't use them that much but I have actually used them so much even though there's so much still there. But they're like a cute little addition to cases and it's so cute. I have these couple chunks separated in three. I have like lollies here, ice cream here, and cakes there. I have some flowers at the bottom, which I also, also like to use for my sunglasses that I've been making. They're up here. There are some orange sunglasses there and some blue ones. So I've started making those as well. I'm dropping everything. Right, so um, it's always good to have like a big container like this so you can put you can be very organized and color coordinated and sometimes one's not enough so you need quite a few <laughs> I've got my collection of nail polishes here because they're so helpful if you would have seen with my last video um, I have a box back there full of empty cases I have this container which I fill with a lot of um, bigger items for cases because sometimes really big things can't fit in these containers I have things like these little keychains which are so helpful. If you find stuff like this, I recommend you get it because you can fill little photos in them and put them on phone cases and I paint them with nail polish. A uh, little Hello Kitty I made ages ago. A big long ice cream pen that I'm going to use. But yeah, I've got a little jar for all the big stuff that you can't fit into cases like that. I also have these old lolly jars full of my figurines as you can see. I've separated them into like pinks and pastels to like regular colors and I would love to get some more figures so it's always good to have a nice big collection of figures be because you never know. Um, in here I've got Pokemon, Adventure Time, uh, Mario, the regular show, Pokemon mainly, like, people love Pokemon. In here I've got Barbie, My Little Pony, um, Princess Peach and Strawberry Shortcake because girls love their pink. Um, in here, in these old like wa wa wafer stick 
containers, I've got tools. Now, I find pliers to be extremely helpful. You know, I just always use them for bending stuff and chopping stuff and I don't know. It's it's extremely helpful. <laughs> and so this is my desk and this little section because this is a computer desk. This is where you put your keyboard. I have all my silicones down here and my guns to pipe my silicon. Um, I also have some um, spray gloss. I also have some hairspray down there for some reason <laughs> and spray paint. I've got my little bin down there that's covered in silicone. It's always good to have a bin close by and it's always good to have paper towel close by. Because when you get silicone over your hands, do not wash your hands. Just use paper towel because if you wash your hands, your hands get all like sticky and oily. It's best just to wipe them, not wash them. And then I have these drawers here. And they're also full of cases, which I haven't done. One thing about cases, too, is you can buy, like, really cheap cases. Like, this one's a dollar because no one was buying it because it was ACDC. But it doesn't matter if it's not, if it's got writing on it because you're going to deck it and over it anyway. So, you know, you can get really cheap cases with writing on it and you're just going to go over it. I've got my sheets of rhinestones here. I attempted to peel them off one by one and stick them in a container, but I thought it was much more helpful just to keep them on their sheets and then peel them off when you need them. There's a book that I've been decorating. Um, I've got some pencil cases here full of deco sauce tubes. And you put them in your hot glue gun, which is also in there. And then you drizzle on the side, so that's drizzle. My paint brushes. All my makeup, uh, my little chair, um, and I've got excuse that. Okay. Bag. Here's something that I made a while ago. I changed an Aluma wallet into oops, an eyelash holder. I actually ripped all the stuff out, then cut off my um, eyelash containers, and then glued them in there. Super cute. I have this little lunch box full, if I can open it, full of thousands of reusable piping bags. So I like to get the tubes of silicon, put them in the gun, then pipe them into piping bags. Do not even bother with um, reusable piping bags, like it's too much of a mess. Just buy a bunch of disposable ones. They already have their tips on them, so I just fill them, cut the tip off, put the piping tip onto it, and just throw them out afterwards. Also, a little tip is if you're using the kind of like rubbery um, roof silicon, if you just take the bag off the end and bin it, and then you leave the tip to dry, once it's all dried, you can just basically pop the silicon out. So, um, it makes the cleanup process so easy. You finish piping, rip the bag off, throw the bag in the bin, put the tip down to dry, and then once it's dry you can pop it out, and then you're done. You, and just wipe your hands with paper towel. There's no massive cleanup process or anything. Um, and I have some containers full of stickers, erasers, um, diamantes, everything. I have a little, um little garden up here. <laughs> These are my floral headbands that I've made. I also make them if you guys want to order any. They're only $10. And I just have a bunch of colors here and they haven't been made yet and those ones have been made. Um, and it's always important to have a nice dry space to put some of your cases because you know while they're drying they need to be out of reach so they don't get bumped and stuck off. And when they are done it's good to have them in an out of reach area so they don't get dropped or cracked or anything so um, when they're freshly new I put them up here for them to dry to take pictures of and everything and then once they're done I pack them into these boxes here's some um, Hello Kitty, uh, not Hello Kitty, here's some My Little Pony keychains that I've made there's my beautiful little Fluttershy so these boxes are full of cases that I've already made um, and if I get like a mat if they get really really full they're not that full now but if they get really full I like to do like a little sale and get rid of some cases 
So yeah, um, I hope you guys liked seeing my messy craft room with my little Tim Burton shirt that I have there and my Jack Skellington. But yes, um, these can, so to sum up, my room's messy, but um, yeah, it's always good to have some tools set by. These boxers are absolutely incredible. If you cannot find them at your craft store, you can, usually you get these sized ones, these regular ones. They're usually like six dollars I think from your craft store but if you can't find them you can always go to a fishing store and get bait and tackle ones um, they usually have like you can take these out and change the sizes of that uh, so it's good to have a big healthy nail polish collection and a great collection of figurines and a bunch of disposable piping bags and a good little place to store all your silicon. Oh, and these, I just discovered this the other day. <laughs> but um, it's a cork, uh, a chalk saver. So you can stick it in your silicon to stop it. Because, like, the tips of my silicon would get all dry. And then I'd have to peel them off before I started again. Which would be a pain. But this is absolutely great. I think it's like $6 from Big W. It's called a chalk saver. And it's so good. Yes. And make sure you have paper towel hand by all the time. Do not wash your hands with silicon because it makes it worse. Dry it with paper towel and always have a bin nearby. So, so I hope that oops, I hope that video was what you guys wanted. <laughs> Of my little crafts collection and it's growing every day. I actually want to expand it and have three tables like half of my room is going to be just tables and I've got my wheelie chair just to go around. But yeah, hope you guys like this video.